Hey, welcome back to our Azure DevOps series. In the last video, we created an Azure DevOps project, now set up a repository, initialized it, and adjusted the visibility setting to public before testing everything. If you haven't watched that video yet, be sure to check it out. In today's video, we are diving deeper into branch strategy and branch policies, key elements for managing your code effectively in Azure DevOps. Let's get started. Hello and welcome to this video on branching strategy and Git workflow in Azure DevOps. In this session, we will explore different Git branching strategy, including Git flow, chunk based development, and feature branches. We will also demonstrate how to create and manage branches and implement branches policies in Azure DevOps. By the end of this video, you will have a clear understanding of how to structure your source control strategy effectively. So let's get started. So branch, uh, branching strategy. So what, what 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 is the need for that? So branching strategy helps team collaborate and on code efficiently without disrupting the main code base. They define how and when developers should create, merge, and delete branches. Some key benefits of having a well-defined branching strategy include organized workflow and collaboration, minimize merge conflict, streamline code review process, and better CI/CD integration. There are three main branching strategies we will cover today. Git flow, chunk based development, and feature branching. First, let's discuss uh, Git flow, which is a popular branching strategy for team working on large projects. Git flow consists of several branches. We have main, which uh, mostly used for production ready branch, uh, develop, uh, the integration branch where new features are merged, feature where uh, each new feature gets its own branch, release, which are used for preparing a new version. And then we have uh, old fix, which are used uh, for urgent production bug fix. This strategy is great for structural releases, but it can be complex for team practicing continuous uh, integration. Now let's look at trunk based development, which is a simpler and faster alternative to Git flow. In this approach, developer commit changes directly to the main or use uh, short lived branches. Frequent integration and automated tests reduce merge conflict, and it's ideal for CI/CD pipeline and high-speed software delivery. While this approach works well for fast-moving team, it requires uh, strict testing and code quality check. Another common approach is feature branching, where each new feature is developed in its own branch. A developer creates a feature branch from develop or main, and the work is done in isolation until it's ready for review. The branch is merged through a pull request after testing. This is great for team that uh, follow code review and collaborate on feature before merging into production. Now that we understand branching strategy, let's talk about branch policies in Azure DevOps. Branch policies help maintain code quality and security by enforcing pull request review, uh, for example, require approval before merging, uh, build valid validation, uh, which also ensure new codes doesn't break existing feature. Branch protection rule, uh, which prevent force pushes and uh, unauthorized merge. Implementing these policy ensures stability and prevent accidental error in production. Now let's get straight to the demo, uh, a step by step guide. Let's continue. Okay, if you remember from our previous video demo, we created a public repository named PubRepo. So let's navigate back to PubRepo. Once we are here, head over to the repo section in Azure DevOps. From there, click on the job, job down menu and select manage repositories. On uh, Once you are on all the repositories page, you can choose the repository you want to implement policies for. In our case, we only have one repository. You might have multiple, uh, select the appropriate repository and then go to the policy tab. Scroll down to the branch policies. Currently, we have, we have only one branch main. Uh, click on it to view the summary table where we can enable or disable branch policy. You will see options like uh, this branch cannot be deleted and changes must be made via pull request. To ensure every changes is made via pull request, let's enable this option. And uh, one of the first policy we will enable is uh, require a minimum number of reviewer. We can specify the minimum number. Let's see set it to one for our demo we also have the option to allow requesters to approve their own change which we will enable for this demo 
Next, let's enable uh, the check for link work item option, but we will leave this as optional for now. Similarly, we will set we will set the check for comment resolution as optional. This means someone must first comment before we can approve it. Uh, we can also limit the merge type. For example, we will select the basic merge option, which prevents fast forward merge, and disable uncheck the rest. Uh, if you have a build pipeline, you can enable build validation to ensure that the build is successful before the pull request can be completed. Now let's go back to our pub repo. Here we will create uh, a new branch. Then go to branch branches and we will create a new branch called feature. And this will be based on the main branch. Although we could link work item from here, we don't have any right now, so we will just click uh, create. Once our new branch is created, click on it to switch to the feature branch. We will now edit a readme MD file and add a simple comment. And we are going to write, uh, for our example, add a new feature. Write uh, whatever comes to whatever fit the commit and then for the commit comment we are going to write add a new feature then you can click commit after creating the commit the new commit let's create a pull request then click create pull request on the new pull request page that will, that will open, we see that no requests are checked. One optional check has failed and at least one reviewer must approve as we, we set in our policy. Since we have enabled the option to allow requester to approve their own change, we can approve it ourselves. We should also address the comment requirement. Uh, so let's go and add a comment to our pull request. Go to uh, file, then find the change file and then you click the comment option next to it and then we can add uh, let's add a comment like can you add some change here then you can click comment and resolve and we can go back to approve the pull request with one comment address and one reviewer fulfilling the policy requirement we can now approve the pull request clicking complete will create the merge request Notice that this option we disable like squad commit to uh, be based or not enable. We proceed with the merge option, avoiding fast forward and click complete merge. Now let's go back to manage repository and implement uh, branch protection. We can go back to policy and scroll down to branch policy. We can add a new branch policy that protects both current and future branch uh, matching a uh, specified pattern. In our case, Let's use release, but we don't have any release branch, so we will enter the branch name main and then click uh, create. Now we have enabled a course repository policy for our main branch. We can also require a minimum number of reviewer here um, and also allow requester to approve their own change. Then let's scroll down and for this demo, let's automatically enter our user as a reviewer to be added automatically. Now let's navigate back to our Power repo and let's create a new branch. We will call it uh, feature2. Then click create. Now we will switch to it. We will make a change to our commit message, uh, changing it to uh, updated feature. Then click commit. We can keep the comment as is and click commit again. Now let's create a pull request. Click create pull request and create. Here you can see that we have one required reviewer that was added automatically and this is our user. We will now approve it and complete the pull request. Now click complete merge. And finally, let's make, let's test making a direct change to the main branch. Then go to your main branch, readme md and we try to change the message to uh, another feature and we will try to commit it 
and we will see a message stating that push to this branch are not permitted. This confirms that the branch protection policy we enable is working effectively. Thank you for watching. So what did we achieve? Uh, to summarize, uh, we explore different Git branching strategy, including Git flow, which is great for structured release but complex for CICD. Then we talked about trunk based development, which is ideal for fast moving team with uh, strong testing practices. Then we also went over feature branching. Uh, we saw that it works well with pull requests and collaborative reviews. We also demonstrated branches uh, management in Git and implementing implemented branch policies in Azure DevOps. So choosing the right branching strategy depends on your team workflow, uh, release cycle and DevOps maturity as well. So that's it for this video. Next, we are going to uh, have a short demo on importing GitHub repository into Azure DevOps. Uh, we will also connect Azure DevOps to GitHub and then we will have a brief comparison of GitHub action in the Azure pipeline. We have new video every week and Enzo Lab step-by-step -step guide. Don't forget to like, uh, subscribe and share to others. Thank you.